हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टेक्नो एजुकेशन एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द फोर व्हील ड्राइव एंड द लेआउट ऑफ द फोर व्हील ड्राइव इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द कंपैरिजन ऑफ फ्रंट व्हील ड्राइव रियर व्हील ड्राइव एंड फोर व्हील ड्राइव सो हियर यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज द लेआउट ऑफ द फोर व्हील ड्राइव एंड दीज आर द बेसिक कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द फोर व्हील ड्राइव द फर्स्ट वन इज इंजन इंजन मींस इट इज अ प्राइम मूवर it will produce the power okay and through this power your vehicle uh, it will propel it is the definition of automobile automobile means it is a self propelled vehicle okay by using engine or battery so here you can see that this is engine this engine is a prime mover it will produce the power by combustion of fuel inside the combustion chamber and it will produce the mechanical power so ic engine means it is a heat engine in which chemical energy of fuel it is converted into heat energy and this heat energy it is converted into mechanical energy so it is a prime mover this engine it is connected with the flywheel so flywheel means it is a energy storage device it will also control the fluctuation it is used to store the energy okay during the power stroke in a ic engine okay whatever the uh, energy it will be liberated it is stored in the flywheel okay whatever the extra energy uh, produced by the engine it is stored in the flywheel and it is utilized in the another stroke in compression stroke as well as in exhaust stroke this is the function of flywheel the third component is clutch what is the function of clutch so clutch means here you can see that it is connected with uh, uh, flywheel engine and uh, gearbox so the function of the clutch it will engage and disengage a uh, driving shaft and driven shaft okay whenever you uh, shift the gear from uh, first to second second to third third to fourth okay at that time uh, some uh, jerk it will be there between the two gears uh, so this clutch it will engage and disengage the driving shaft from the driven shaft it is the function of clutch okay i have already prepared one video on clutch how it's work if you want to clear your fundamental then you can watch this video so the function of the clutch is to engage and disengage the driving shaft and driven shaft the next one is gearbox okay the function of the gearbox it is also known as transmission system okay so uh, in automobile we are using different types of gearbox uh, manual gearbox uh, automatic semi automatic okay these are the different types of gearbox we will discuss later on so the function of the gearbox it will uh, provide the leverage different leverage to the driving wheel okay it will uh, change the speed as well as torque okay the next one is transfer box so in a four wheel drive okay we have already discussed okay in a four wheel drive we are using two differential okay and while is in case of a front wheel drive and rear wheel drive we are using one differential so uh, whenever we are using two differential so at that time okay one mechanism is provided in between the two differential it is called transfer box and the function of the transfer box okay it will uh, convert okay four wheel drive into rear wheel drive mostly your uh, car it is operated by rear wheel drive but in certain cases okay like as in muddy areas off road condition so at that time we need four wheel drive so in four wheel drive we require the more power because uh, whenever we are using two differential okay this is first differential this is second differential and here you can see that in a differential okay the uh, bevel gears are there okay the bevel gear assembly is there and uh, it is submerged in uh, differential oil okay so uh, here uh, the friction is more as compared to the front wheel drive and rear wheel drive because here we are using two differential so there is a uh, more losses okay so finally the mechanical efficiency is less as compared to the front wheel drive and rear wheel drive and we have already discussed what is the need of four wheel drive it is used in muddy areas in snow areas in hilly areas okay at that time we required the grip and we need to transfer the power to all the wheels so whenever your tire it is stuck so at that time you can usually keep out your vehicle by using this 4x4 technology because in 4x4 technology we transfer the power to all the wheels okay this is the need of four wheel drive so uh, the application of the four wheel drive in off road condition but whenever you are uh, on highways okay at that time there is no need of four wheel drive so by using this transfer box mechanism you can convert it into two wheel drive 
and mostly we are using rear wheel drive it will convert into rear wheel drive this is the need of transfer box and it is used in four wheel drive okay it is only available in 4x4 technology while as in case of all wheel drive okay all will receive the power every time means there is no need of transfer case in case of a all wheel so all wheel drive provide the greater driving control over the vehicles this is the need of all wheel drive and this is the basic difference between the four wheel drive and all wheel drive in case of a four wheel drive okay we can convert into two wheel drive wherever it is not while in case of a all wheel drive all wheel will receive the power every time means there is no need of transfer case so here you can see that we are using transfer case mechanism or transfer box in four wheel drive to uh, convert into uh, two wheel drive okay so here you can see that here we are using two different so this is front differential and this is rear differential and this both differentials are connected with the transfer case mechanism or transfer box through the propeller shaft and the function of the propeller shaft okay, it will transfer the power okay, from the uh, engine to the uh, driving wheels through the universal joint okay here you can see that in between the propeller uh, shaft uh, here we provide the universal joint so by using the universal joint we can transfer the power to the driving wheels smoothly so we can easily transfer the power through the engine to the driving wheels uh, smoothly without shocking okay this is the need of universal joint in propeller shaft okay this is a differential what is the need of differential so for example whenever your vehicle takes a turn so at that time the radius of inner and the outer it is different okay so it will maintain the speed of the vehicle so it will run smoothly this is the function of differential the second function of the differential it will transmit the power from the front engine to the rear axle so here you can see that the shaft propeller shaft and the differential shaft means it is a rear axle okay it is uh, at perpendicular okay so here we are using bevel gears okay here you can see that it is the assembly of bevel gear and it will transmit the power at 90 degree this is the need of differential and here we are using differential oil okay so it will uh, reduce the friction okay in the assembly of the gear so in case of a four wheel drive so this is a front axle and this is a rear axle so in case of a four wheel drive front axle as well as uh, a rear axle both are living axle okay we have already discussed what is live axle and dead axle live axle means if this axle it will receive the power from the engine it is called live axle and the dead axle means it is only a rotating member it will not receive the power from the engine okay it will only provide the support it is called dead axle and the example of the four wheel drive is gypsy jeep all suvs okay these are the example of the four wheel drive so thank you friends for watching this video i hope this information it will be helpful to you if you would like to watch this type of more technical videos then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends